and hello and welcome back and hello YouTube so this is Brian from Tart I obtained the disarmor set during a stream and I thought hey let's go through the whole arena just with this armor set and with this nice lady and show you how the hell about is working Because it's pretty hard to reach a point where you can use the hell about. Also, let's put on the music again. During streams, I normally turn off the in game music and play my own stuff. Not because it's bad, but because I played so much of this game that it just gets annoying after a while. <laughs> and with much I, as I'm talking about 70 hours within a few weeks. So, as you can see, this thing is doing damage this is fast and it's evil easy as that it's an evil evil weapon and even with that heavy plate armor I can still move it around like there's no tomorrow It's not as good as a pole armor, at least not in my opinion, but it's still pretty good. And the early arenas aren't just <laughs> difficult. Am I recording? Yes, I am. Okay. Just wanted to check because pure awesomeness should obviously be recorded. Okay, and the outswing. And the outswing is a sidestep. Come on, sidestep outswing. This was an inswing. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. This is trying to zone me out, and he can, but he's no damage doing it. So, one hit of mine will put him almost always out of. The game and when I'm swinging around as fast as that there's just no escape I'm sorry man but that's the way it is big shields the natural enemy of every x-blade based weapon <laughs> But still, I can get around it. As you can see. I'm doing the... I'm just swinging right now. Because he's faster than me. And I just need to win at the stepping game, like, and just need to step in and out. Okay, and this was a casual arena, and let's do the expert arena. And swing in, and... Okay, outside swing, side step. Outside swing, in step. <laughs> it was inside swing, and it was in step, sorry. Still does not care <laughs> I ducked under your sword what now Ilona I shoved this shit aside there and that's it for her Lord. He's blocking me with the Badish. First time I've seen the Badish put to a good use. Here's a weird move set. I need to do really long swings just to get him to use his thing. And then I need to swing it faster. 
Oh, I was just able to block this in a second. In a millisecond, I wanted to say. Okay. Against Bardicious, back steps. Back steps. Not like this, like you need to swing up and then do the back step. Like. This is a normal swing. If you're doing the back swing, uh, the back step, when you're doing this, it's the difference between this time and this time. Also, if I would. What is this even looking like? Okay, first swing, and then the fast back swing. Okay, the wind up time is pretty hard on that. Well, you have to do the footsies, by the way. So. Like because of this plate armor, you have a very good middle point. Like I'm doing right, it's now I'm left, and now I'm right, and now I'm left. And if I tap left and right fast, it will look like this. Like you have to walk against the way your armor wants to walk. And while you're doing this, the swings will come out really fast. So you have to keep that in mind. Damn it. I really sucked at the time. It was always the fast one. He also was never really good at blocking shit. He's good at ranging stuff. Blocking? Not this thing. Okay, I do have to worry about him. Because he has the anti plate armor weapon. Just in case you have noticed, I'm not doing the most of the damage with the X plate, but this is pike part of the weapon. <laughs> His hammer got cut up in my blade. So he couldn't swing, I couldn't swing either. It was nice to be. Nice to see him being in a perfect range for him and not being able to swing. So I didn't step away, just wanted to, to enjoy the moment. Come on, and back swing action. It's maybe not the right weapon for fighting someone with such a big armor. get him done, I will compare his weapon with mine. And I got him. Okay, he has a pole hammer and I have a halberd. So about the same weight, the problem is a bit lighter. Um, it's a bit balanced and it doing crush damage while this is um, slash and thrust and impact. And it's pretty well on that. So let's compare it when I lay it down to the ground. Interesting, right? Because when I have it in my hands, it looks like the halberd is much bigger than the pole hammer. But that's not the case if you look closely. It's just because the weapon has just pike on it and it, the, the weapon part, so to speak, is a bit lower than the stock, the end of the pole. Okay, let's see how I'm doing with the hammer. Yes, he or she has a pole leg. No, this is the Hellbot girl, sorry. I was wondering there for a second why she's looking like me. <laughs> so this is basically the same fight I just had, only with different weapon rolls now. Now the pole hammer needs a bit more wind up to be effective. And also it needs perfect positioning. Because you're only doing damage with the hammer head. It's quite far from your body, so it's 
not as easy to hit as you would like imagine. <laughs> Ouch. Girl. Girl, cut it out, girl. Yo, girl. Don't do that. Come on here. Take back this hammer. Also, she's much faster than I am. Interesting or not. But I got her anyway. Whoosh. So, the last enemy. And he has a pole axe. I really want to, like to use a pole axe. But you can't right now. It's not integrated into the arena game and it's not integrated into the single player. Free hit! Free hit! No, just one. Ah, I nearly shoved him over again. So, after I'm doing my shot, I really need to hold the attack button because then I have, to have a good chance of pushing him over, I guess. As you could see right now, uh, his weapon is almost either pretty sick or he has just much more maximum life. Even on previous playthroughs, I hit him on the head like in perfect swings. Three or four times where he was lying on the ground, not being able to move, and I was doing the, the whole uh, stepping back and crouching kind of overhead thing, and he still survived. I'm not blocking enough, I know. Also not very interesting when you do win against him because you can put on his armor and you can just hit the exit button. <laughs> it's kind of anticlimactic when you win in a real And the back swing. Damn it. He was faster. I got him! And I won the arena and as I said, you can't do anything. Which is a bit sad. But well, that was a full arena run. Let's see how far I can get with the hammer. The good old Burian. Haha, <laughs> complete miss. But if I do hit him, I guess this is a one shot. No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> you just needed the light shot towards the ground. This weapon is so heavy that I can push the enemy around with it just by applying pressure to him. was doing much better of course because these guys aren't wearing any armor so the cutting damage was in full effect there I really should stop moving I feel like I'm much better at not moving let's try it I'm a sentry gun It seems to be working, but let me tell you, it's not fun, so let's stop it. <laughs> Overhead! Woo! And your balls got also some fun. Oh, I see you broke your hammer. I broke mine. Let's compare the hammer size. Oh yeah! <laughs> Goodbye, girl. Yeah, max 
maximum range. Do not move in. Never move in. Unless you see the chance of hitting her. Because she's moving out. Like this. Ah, damn it. The camera strike came perfectly, but... She stunlocked me there with, with her sword under my armpit. Which, by the way, was a tactic in Medieval Ages. Hitting the enemy in the armpit, because you can't have plate armor on armpits. Or big armor in general. you for participating <laughs> yeah sometimes they're not not moving is pretty good nice X you got there I want his X it's not very good as you know but I think it would look nice with my plate armor and it does. Oh, this is slow. Okay, I have to play really defensive here, so I have to stay in the middle so I can move around. Because if she pushes me into the wall, I would never be able to get a swing out. Shen. Okay, and again. I'm not blocking at all, by the way. This her small needle. She has problems against my plate armor. She will wear me down eventually. Don't get me wrong here, yeah? I'm not invincible, and I still dislike 200 access in armor. And that was really stupid. Interesting, I'm, I'm tumbling over when I'm doing the overhead. And that's it. Alright, <laughs> enough for today and enough for YouTube, I guess. So, um, ending the live stream now. Uh, it was a pleasure streaming with you, fine gentlemen. And Zapata, Zapata, Saratancho. Nice and nice having you here. Goodbye.